Hey guys, it's TV back with another video and in this video, I want to show you how to set up a dual display just like this. Well, that's cool, right? And also, in this video, I'm going to explain how to connect this TV to your laptop and also connect the same TV to your desktop. Well, steps involved in connecting both this TV or a monitor to your laptop and your desktop is actually same. But there are some cases that you should actually know when you are connecting a monitor to your desktop. So I want to explain all these cases at the end of the video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. And also if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notified when I just post my new video. So let's get started. Setting up a dual display is such an easy thing to do. There are only two steps involved in it. First one, connect your monitor to your laptop or to your desktop. And second one is to change some display setting so that you can achieve this. Well, that's it. Simple thing. Now, let's actually look these steps in detail. So, for connecting your monitor to your laptop or desktop, you usually use an HDMI, DVI, VGA or and display port. So firstly, you need to check which of these ports are in your laptop and also in your monitor and then use a proper wire to connect them. For example, if your monitor has an display port and your laptop has an HDMI port, then you can display port to HDMI port cable to connect them. There are some cases when you need some additional adapter for connecting your monitor to your laptop for example, if you uh, have an HDMI to HDMI cable in your hand, but you don't have an HDMI port in your in your monitor, instead you have an DVI port, then you use an HDMI to a DVI adapter for completing a connection. So what you do is you plug one end of this HDMI cable to your laptop and other end of the HDMI cable is plugged to that adapter, DVI to HDMI adapter, and then this adapter is plugged into your monitor. In this way you can complete your connection. I'll put all these links of adapters and also the cables down in the description below so make sure you check the description box. Now after you just connect your monitor to your laptop or to your desktop now you'll be able to see a mirror image of your laptop in your monitor and in case of TV you won't be able to see anything this is because you haven't changed your input source so if you're connecting your TV with an HDMI cable then change the input source as HDMI and if you're connecting your TV using an VGA cable then change the source into PC so after selecting a proper input source in your TV then you'll be able to see that your TV is also mirrored now let's actually move to step 2 that is changing some display setting so that you can drag one window to the another monitor just like this so for doing this, firstly, right click anywhere in your desktop and then go to screen resolution and in case of Windows 10, this will be actually display setting. Now both are actually same, then now just click this and as you click this, you can see that in, in here multiple display, you see that duplicate this display. That means uh, now this, this monitor is actually in duplicate of this and what whatever you see in here is actually is seen in here so whatever you do in this laptop is also done in this desktop and also this monitor has the same resolution of this laptop even this monitor has a higher resolution than this this is because this is actually duplicated now this monitor has a full hd plus resolution as, and as you can see that it has only and this much resolution which is lower than a full hd plus resolution so if you want to make this higher and also if you want to expand your workspace that means if you want to drag this uh, windows to your another monitor so for doing that what you need to do is you just need to go to multiple display and then select extend these display select this option and then select apply uh, then select keep changes and as you can see that I'm able to move my mouse uh, around both my monitor and also I'm able to drag this windows to this monitor also now that's cool right well that's it this is that much simple now there's an actually shortcut for doing this in your keyboard just press windows plus p key and when you press this you can see that in box appear in where you can duplicate extend and also make any one of the monitor turn on and turn off 
Now after you extend your monitor, you can see that this monitor has got a full HD plus resolution and if you don't get a maximum resolution of your monitor, then you can just uh, pick this from here and then press apply and even if you don't get this then there might be two reasons first one your monitor does not support that much higher resolution second thing is that you are using an VGA cable which actually support up to a full HD resolution so, so make sure when you're connecting a higher resolution not go for a VGA cable instead you go for an HDMI or a DVI cable now you can actually set your dual display as you like you can just change the position of one monitor with respect to another monitor just like this press and hold here and then drag to top now first one is at bottom and second one is at top just like this setup and also you can change this this one also just like this and if you have any confusion to find which one is one and which one is two just press this identify and you can see that this one is two and this one is one now you can also make any one of this monitor to portrait or you can be both of them to portrait just by changing the orientation to portrait and these kinds of setup are mainly used by professional bloggers or programmers so that they can see more in the screen now you can actually select any one of these as your main monitor and for making monitor 2 as main monitor just click here and then just check mark this box and then press apply and when you press apply you can see that you can see the taskbar which indicates that this is the main monitor so these were the all things that you can do with your dual display now let's actually see the different cases that you will come across when you're connecting your second monitor to your desktop firstly you should know that your monitor can be plugged in either in your here that is in your motherboard io which is here or in your graphic card slots now which is obviously seen in here in my case i don't have any dedicated graphic card that's why um, you are not able to see this otherwise you will now these are two regions where you can plug your monitors now let's actually move to case one imagine if you don't have a dedicated graphic card and also you just have a single port for connecting a monitor for example in here in my case i don't have a dedicated graphic card and also i just have a single vga cable or single vga port for connecting my monitor so in this case you will use an splitter so what basically a splitter do is it split one port into two other ports so in my case i have an vga port so i want to use an vga splitter so that and that will split one vga port into two different vga ports and from that i can just connect my both my monitors that's it now case number two imagine if you have a dedicated graphic card Obviously, if you have a dedicated graphic card, you will connect both your monitor to that dedicated graphic card. But if you want to connect one monitor in your graphic card output and another monitor into your motherboard I.O. port, well, can you do it? For example, if you have got two HDMI port in your hand, which is connected to two different monitor and your graphic card has only one HDMI port, but you have an HDMI port in your motherboard I.O. which is here, then can you actually plug one monitor to your graphic card and other monitor to your motherboard IO well yes you can but wait 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 firstly when you just set this up and when you just turn your computer on you will see that the monitor that is connected to this motherboard IO is not working or is not showing anything the reason behind here is that your monitors that are connected to here that is motherboard IO is actually connected to your internal graphics or your onboard graphics so when you actually add a new dedicated graphic cards to your system then your system automatically disables your internal graphic so firstly you need to go to bios of your system and then enable your internal graphics then only you'll be able to use both this monitor and enabling internal graphics is such an easy thing you just need to google how to enable internal graphics or how to enable onboard graphics and you will find a plenty of answers so that was it for our video and if you have any question regarding this dual display setup feel free to ask me in the comments below and if you just like this video hit that like button and also if you love this video or you are interested in my more videos make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notified when i just post my new video well i think it's time to go so it's tv signing off and i'll catch you guys in my next one